Hey guys, a few weeks ago I posted a video about a new technology for detailers called Mobile Tech RX. If you saw that video, you know that that was a waitlist video. In other words, the technology had not launched yet, but the technology finally launched March 1st. And so I want to walk through with you guys on my phone exactly how I price details now according to the software system and show you guys a bunch of different variables of exactly how it works for those of you who kind of want to see it before you get into it. So in this video, we're going to start with Mobile Tech RX Online. So this is not the app on your phone that you're seeing screen recorded here. This is on my laptop. And the reason why I'm going in my laptop is because in order to make things more simple on the app and more intuitive, you want to go into the back end on the website and get things squared away first. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my login here at MobileTechRx.com on my computer. I just click log in and I think my username and password are saved and you're going to see this screen populated. This is basically the back end of Mobile Tech RX online. So you can see I've put my logo in here. There's a very intuitive button for everything in here. So whether you're deleting something, changing something, inserting your logo, all of that stuff is in here and it's very clear from your website to your company name to uh, let's see here your phone number even if you're still using fax you can put all of that stuff in there of course it's going to ask you where your company is located none of this information is actually my information obviously but I just put this in here kind of as a place order so you guys can see this is going to be the first thing you want to do when you're setting up the back end of your mobile tech RX kind of uh, information for your company. You want to put in all the correct information for your company here at the website on your computer. It's much easier to do and then you can simply click save changes at the bottom. Now on the left here you see this big drop down menu of all of these kind of back end information pieces. Okay, This first one here is an invoice and estimate sort of message. So basically this is what your customer is going to see when they're needing to sign an invoice, receive an invoice, sign an estimate, kind of interact with your customer. This is what they're going to see in that piece. This will make more sense when we get into the app, which we're going to do later in this video. But this is kind of where you're able to set up that kind of messaging. Now this next piece is QuickBooks. If you have QuickBooks or a bookkeeper taking care of your QuickBooks for you in your business, which I do, you can actually set that up here as well to connect with the app or with Mobile Tech RX. Now you guys can kind of read through these sections here because it's going to make sense for you intuitively in your business, but I'm going to hit on the things that matter. Now this particular part is actually very important. Now here is one of the really important areas because you're going to come into this kind of company rates section and you're going to input what you charge. So this is going to kind of account for like labor rates and you, you'll flip through this and of course you can you know go between flat pricing and hourly and all this sort of stuff but this is where you're going to input that information so that the app calculates and kind of populates automatically based on what you choose and what you charge here. I can come in to any of these little blocks here and again it's all very intuitive like it's very simple as far as um, coming in here it's going to be obvious what it's going to take for you to change things save things all of that is very obvious but if I want to come in here and change anything I can simply click on the box change that rate but again this is the back end that's going to affect everything in the app when I get in there. So here you can see the labor rate. I can change it from 100 to 50. Click enter. It'll save. I'm going to change it back from 50 to 100. Once again, this is going to depend on just who you are, how you run your business, what prices that you've determined for yourself. But again, as you change all of these, this is going to like automate your experience and systematize your experience within the app because you're just going to be able to click on things and that's going to add all of these numbers up for you that you input here. So of course, change any of them, don't change any of them, but these are just kind of place fillers, arbitrary numbers here that are in the back end right now. So of course you can scroll down and see a lot of different things you can do. There are probably going to be far more things in this back end section than you are going to want to deal with. You don't have to do everything with everything. This is just giving you the option to, uh, it's, it's just addressing every possible part of anyone who owns a business, right? So some of this stuff is not going to apply to you. Now I'm going to scroll back up here and hit the next section. Now 
This next section I'm going to be hitting is the miscellaneous section. This is basically where you can come in and add any, obviously, miscellaneous services, products you offer, things of that nature within your detailing business that you want to automate within the app. So for example, I added this thing right here that says gas fill up upon customer pickup. That is not something I actually do. That's just something I wanted to do for the sake of this video. I'm going to add a new one in here just to show you guys what this means. Again, you can delete or add any of the automated or the ones that are already in there. So here, I'm putting complimentary fabric protection on uh, higher end vehicles, nicer vehicles, and I'm going to put the price point at zero. Now, I wouldn't do this in real life, but I'm just showing you. This is a miscellaneous service that I can put in here that within the app, I can click on and add to someone's invoice very easily. So within this section, I would take things that you regularly do that aren't necessarily detailing packages, but they're additional services, um, or again, just anything miscellaneous that you do on a regular basis that within the app it would be easy to add to somebody's invoice by clicking on. That's kind of the idea behind that. And again, you can customize that to whatever uh, fits your specific detailing business. Now this next uh, section is probably the most important for detailers watching this video. This is your detailing package and services uh, back end here. So this comes with level one, level two, and level three packages that again are kind of auto-populated or put in here automatically from Mobile Tech RX. that especially if you're not very versed in this industry, this would be an amazing place to start for you because while these numbers are not based on anything as far as like industry standard, they are a good place to start nonetheless just from me checking them out, I think at least. As with the rest of this, you can go in add whatever you want and delete whatever you want. So you can come in here and customize your specific packages. So you can see here, I'm adding in an exterior detail uh, with a parentheses beside it that says basic. This is like a level one exterior detail package. So I'm gonna do a general wash and a decan decontamination with a clay bar. I'm gonna go ahead and list out the other services that that includes. Once again, as I'm doing all of this, this is going to make my usage of the app very seamless and very automated where I can just simply start turning things on and clicking buttons and they're going to add in these things to estimates and work orders and sending these things to customers automatically that I put in here. So I want to make sure that I'm doing this well and um, making sure that I'm being specific with all of this. But again, you're going to want to add your own price down below and this is going to be up to you again, but this is going to be a baseline price, a sort of minimum that you don't go under within the app. All of these are baseline prices. They are subject to change based on your situations. So any price you see here is a minimum, meaning you will probably be charging more than that, but that is a bottom level foundation to stand on. Okay. So to be clear about that, again, these are minimum prices. They're not necessarily prices you have to charge. This means I will not show up to work for less than this amount of money for this particular job. There are also options within this to change it from a flat fee to a per hour basis, a by services offered basis. So a lot of different things to customize in here and you're going to have to play with it as well to see what's going to work best for you. Now. Next, I'm going to go all the way down here. This is the alerts page. This is another awesome feature of the Mobile Tech RX platform because this is where you can automate alerts to go out to your customers and customize them for specific situations. So you can see here, I made one up called the birthday alert, meaning if I can get my customers to give me their emails and birthdays when I have a new customer, I can put that information into my system in this platform under the clients tab. And on their birthday, I can send them my little customized message. I do the same thing called this two month alert, meaning two months after I get a customer in, I can send out an automated alert from the day they came in. I can schedule this to go out, customize it to them so that two months later, they know it's been two months since their last detail. I would love to give them 10% off or whatever that is. You can see here, I'm making up another one, a six month reminder. This can go out automatically again. Wow, can you believe it has been this long since you've gotten your last detail, please come in. We'll love to, we'd love to service your vehicle again, you know, yada, yada, yada. Pretty self-explanatory, but again, 
a very powerful tool because you're able to offload kind of the burden of remembering to follow up with customers onto the technology. And this is kind of the point. This technology is kind of meant to work as your employee and something you can offload some of these burdens onto. So following up, pricing, invoicing, creating estimates, um, creating kind of an aura that looks very professional. All of these things are kind of part of what the point of this technology is. And so there's so many things that I'm not touching on in this video that you can dive deeper into. And this is just kind of the 30,000 foot view. So many things that you can play around with here. So that's pretty much the whole menus tab here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. So let's go ahead and head to the app on my phone so we can see how this populates. So just like any other app, you're just going to click on it and you're going to see this kind of home screen populate. And it's got four little squares on it, just like everything in this platform. It's all very intuitive and very easy to understand. So these are kind of your four main home screen buttons that are going to take you everywhere else in the app that you need to go. You also have those little three tick marks up in the top left corner, and that's going to let you see kind of more specific tabs in your menu that you can navigate to. The very first thing you're going to want to do is create a new client. So you click new client and you're going to see a screen where you can very simply put in all of their information. There's not a lot to be said about that. You're going to put in their name. You can put in their company. Again, it gives you this app. I, I'm touching on very general things, but it gives you very specific things. That, are they a retail or a wholesale customer? So depending on what kind of work you're doing, you know, all of these things can be specified. Phone numbers, emails, all of that sort of stuff, I'm making this up. Obviously, Philip Henry is not a real person, but making up his address nonetheless. So as I put in all of this information, I'm going to go down the list, fill in all of the information that I need to fill in. I can skip over anything that I don't have necessarily. So if I don't have somebody's address or just don't want to ask for their address, I don't have to put that information in. I can put as much or as little information in that I feel is necessary for where I'm at in the business at any given time. Again, it gets very specific as far as what even kind of language you're talking, what kind of uh, money or monetary unit you're going to be paying in, United States dollar, you know, what kind of currency. So again, very specific, but I'm going to hit save. When I hit save, I have that client in here. Philip Henry <clears throat> is in. Again, you can do more later. But after that, I'm going to go ahead and hit new estimate. Now, when I hit new estimate, I see this screen. This is the screen that I want to start putting in the information about Philip Henry's vehicle, the job, all that stuff into. So I can click this button that says scan VIN and it is going to auto populate. It's going to access my camera on my phone and I can more or less scan the VIN of any car I'm working on. Basically, I just want to measure up to the barcode area, kind of zoom in there, and it will basically grab that information and auto-populate all of my customer's information about the car. I can choose what color the car is, It'll give me a bunch of information, the year, the make, the model, and I can start typing in stuff that it doesn't give me. So, for example, I can type in, uh, let's see, the odometer reading. I can type in a uh, license number. I can type in what state it's registered in. I can type in what uh, the color of the interior is in. This is a really quick way to get all the information you need about the customer's vehicle. And in this world, data is king. And so getting all of this information, it's like hard to describe how valuable it is to have all of this info on your customers, especially when you're retargeting them and all that good stuff. Now, after that, I'm going to come back to that new estimate screen and I'm going to click the services tab, which was next to the VIN number, scanning the VIN number. And you can see here all these different services that are offered. Now, the one that you guys are probably going to be interested in is going to be detailing. You can see, again, there's going to be a lot of different choices because like I keep saying, there's a lot of specificity in this app. And so whether you're a small detailer or a guy who does a ton of, you know, paint protection film, window tinting and detailing, this app covers all of that. But you're probably just interested in detailing. So I'm going to hit the detailing button here. And what you see when I do that is that this brings you to your packages and your services that we put in the back end on the website on our computer. So I'm clicking through some of these. Again, you have the standard ones that are offered from Mobile Tech RX that are based on that data across the country that is more regulated and standardized, which I suggest using as a foundation. But you also have other services that you can customize and put in. Now, 
This is the conditional factors page. What ends up happening here is when you click the package or the service you're going to do, it'll bring you to the conditional factors. This again is something you can customize in the back end, but this allows you to account for the variables in whatever given situation. So let's say there's a lot of pet hair. Let's say the engine is particularly dirty and you're including that in your exterior detail. You can actually put in how much time it's going to take. And again, the software will calculate your payment based on what your labor rate was. And the great thing about the labor time and this conditional factors side of the app is that this is based on industry averages and research that mobile tech did. So when you input these things or check off these things, basically it accounts for this kind of industry standard, what to charge for your time based on these things that we all experience in the detailing world that increase price and that increase time it takes to finish a vehicle. Um, so it kind of takes the burden off you. Now, when I do all of that the software will kick me back a number you can see I don't have a vehicle selected but in pretend land in real world I do I can click the check mark that I'm approving it and I can create a work order and this is going to give me something that I can send to my customer and they can sign it basically saying I approve Wilson auto detailings work on my car they can do it like here's my consent okay and that will send a customer that $195 can be approved by the customer it can be approved by you and it says this estimate has now been closed, meaning like the estimate is approved, it's done, now it's just time to create that work order so I can go ahead and start getting the ball rolling and get to the customer's house and do what I need to do. So Philip Henry, you're welcome. That is what this looks like. Now I just want to go back to the home screen and kind of flip through this menu. You can see if I click the clients tab, I've got my whole list of clients right there. I can click on any one of their names and have all their info. If I click on estimates, I can see what kind of estimates are out. That doesn't mean that's what I've been paid. That just means the estimates, these estimates have been approved so far. Here's the dollar amount of estimates that have been approved so far. If I click those little three tick marks again, I can go down to my work orders. I can see there's no work orders out right now in my app and I can just continue going down in voices um, to all these different information pieces and once again Data is king when you're building a business, no matter what kind of business you're building. And the more organized your data can be, the more you will thank yourself. Now, if you guys are confused here, you can see there are literally <laughs> endless videos inside of the app that are tutorials to show you how to use this app. So while I hit the majors, this, this will deep dive into exactly how you can get the most out of this app. So hopefully this was helpful to you. But if you're curious about more, please go and watch those videos. I'm telling you, this is going to add value to your world. All right, guys, that's it. This is kind of a super exciting video for me because I love uh, technology. It's kind of something that I'm passionate about apart from detailing from an entrepreneurship perspective. So this was just a win-win being able to partner with Mobile Tech RX, um, kind of launching it into the detailing world because I really believe that this software system is going to be a big deal for detailers just because I think as somebody who runs an auto detailing business and has for the past eight years, the number one question that I get and that I resonate with is what do I price and how do I I not negotiate myself down with the customer because it's just a big problem especially for guys who are starting out it's very hard for them to stick to their guns when it comes to pricing and I understand that because I went through the same exact thing if you're interested in using this software system for your own detailing business there's gonna be a mobile tech RX link below this video hit that link it'll take you step by step exactly what to do it's very clear and straightforward if you're new to the Wilson Auto detailing channel then definitely consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos just like this and as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video